Want to know exactly what your hidden talents and your gifts are? Well, in today's video insider, I'm gonna share with you three powerful ways that you can discover that right now. And this process, by the way, is gonna seem very simple. However, what makes it very difficult is society's conditioning upon yourself. And this is something I'm gonna talk about today because I'm sure you know that you gotta find your passion and all of that stuff. And this is not what I'm gonna share with you. You already know that. What I'm gonna share with you more in, in, in depth in regards to psychological reasons, you may be blocking yourself from discovering what you're really born to do. So make sure to pay close attention. Now, before I reveal these ways, I wanna just give a quick shout out to an insider who submitted this question over to us on Facebook, she said, please Tim Han, how can you know your talent and what you really love to do in your life? Firstly, Fikari, just wanna say thank you so much for submitting a question. And Insider, if you also wanna be featured on our show, all you have to do, my friend, is follow the link above or go directly to the link here and you'll have a chance to be featured on our show as well. So Fikari, you pretty much answered the question yourself. It is all about love, it's all about passion. Now, if it was as simple as that, everybody should be really following their heart and living their dream, right? But in reality, most people out there, they block themselves. And this is something I'm gonna reveal much, much deeper into around the final point. So make sure to pay close attention inside it. So the first point is something I like to call H2H. This is a principle I've now revealed to people all across the globe, and they find this very powerful. It's easy to kind of understand, but then again, most people don't really get it. And it's because they're trying to process it logically, but it doesn't really make sense logically. You'll know what I mean, okay? So I want you to realize when you're born as a baby, you're, you've got a blank slate. And this is who you really are. When you're born, this is who you are. You're operating from what I like to call the core identity. You, you've not been conditioned by the society in regards to what to believe who to believe, who are you, what label should I wear, am I a banker, am I a lawyer, am I a rock star, whatever it may be, right? You you get conditioned by society. The moment you're born, firstly, your parents tell you what the world is like, money is like, uh, whatever to believe, whatever religion, whatever country you live in, laws and so forth. Think about it. They've got the best intention at heart, but your, your parents can only teach you what they know. They can only operate from what they know. They only condition you from what they're operating at. Does that make sense? And your friends and the people around you, your teachers have also done the same. And it's no surprise, most people out there, they lack clarity it's because they're actually saying, this is me, but what they're actually referring to is the surface layer, identity. You know, what H2H stands for is, is about receiving signs from people that you may be connecting with that you're not really familiar with or you're not normally associated with. And this is something I've gone through and it, it was a breakthrough experience. I wanna share with you this story that this illustrate this perfectly. There's once a banker named Adam and he worked in the city of London. And after work, he would always hang around with his fancy banker friends. He would always wear this expensive Armani black suit and he would go over to a cocktail bar, very expensive place order the fancy drinks and so forth and he would always hang around with his friends on one evening they decided to do the same thing as usual go over to that cocktail bar and have a drink and whilst that guy was about to order a drink he noticed uh, basically whilst he was in the bar he looked at his right and he saw a ragged looking rock star out of nowhere and he took one look at this guy and he just kind of like looked back at the bartender and all of a sudden the rock star basically started a conversation with him and before long they began to just basically talk and talk and talk and hours went on by, and his banker friends were looking on, and they, he re they realized he was still by, uh, by the bar talking to this ragged looking rock star. And pretty much the whole night was spent, like them two just speaking to each other about music. And he was on the way home that night thinking, why did I connect with this guy? I would normally never connect with somebody who looked like that. He's not a banker. He's not like, like me or my friends. But then that's when it all made sense. When he was younger, his dream was to be a rock star. His ultimate dream in life wasn't to be a banker. Yes, it's got him all the money, but deep inside he was unsatisfied. It wasn't what he was born to do. And this was the same case for me when I was conditioned by my friends when I was hanging around with incredibly negative friends. You may know I used to be addicted to a lot of different drugs. 
My friends were also addicted to a lot of drugs. I got involved with committing crime, even dealing drugs. My friends were also doing that. So you can imagine one evening when my stepdad was watching this TV show called Dragon's Den, which is equivalent of Shark Tank here in England, where entrepreneurs pitch to investors. This was totally out of the norm in regards to what I would normally watch compared to like normal, which would be like something really average and mediocre. But I found it so fascinating. In fact, that night, I began to grab plastic bottles out of cupboards, began to try to invent <laughs> some new ideas and so forth, put some flavoring into popcorn and all of that stuff. And that night, I was also researching online in regards to forums to do entrepreneurship and so forth. And next day, I told my friends about it. They literally all laughed at me. They said, Tim, you're like dumb. Literally, somebody actually said that to me. They said, Tim, you're not smart. You can't make money. Look, just, just continue doing what you're doing with us, you know? And that's when I realized how the moment you try to escape the bucket, everybody begins to pull you down. So what H2H is, is about realizing that you can actually receive signs in regards to what you're really born to do, your hidden talents and gifts from other people that you connect with that may actually not be your ordinary peer group. And this is what ends up happening with me. At the age of 17, which was a decade ago, I ended up starting my first ever online business. And I've not actually looked back since. It all happened from that one connection I had with somebody who's out of my normal peer group that I just really connected with. And ever since, I know I'm what I'm born to do because I connect with other entrepreneurs. I connect with other high achievers because this is what I'm born to do. This is who I am at the core. I'm not born to be mediocre or average. I'm not me born to be uh, employed. I'm born to be unemployable, <laughs> working for myself, right? So H2H, think about who you've connected with in the past. And as you go on today, I want you to be aware of where you are connecting your, your energy with in regards to different people. Be open to it as well. Be open to new opportunities landing on your plate. And notice how you feel about those connections because sometimes that can reveal your hidden talents and gifts. And maybe you can jump onto websites just meetup.com and try to join different groups and see which groups you tend to be attracted towards. That gives you a clue in regards to what you're really born to do, right? So that's the first point, H2H. -H. Second point is fear. Now, what do I mean? Sometimes in life, I found most people out there, they actually do know what they want, but they talk themselves out of it because of this word that begins with B, ends with a T. It's called but. They tell themselves such as, yeah, I really want to do this, Tim, but I'm really passionate about this, but, and they tell themselves every single day, but what if the thing that you're born to do is actually on the other side of fear? What if the gift you meant to share with the world is actually on the other side of fear? What if your life actually began at the end of your comfort zone in which I want you to realize it most likely will. If you were to have told me several years back, Tim, you will be an international speaker, traveling all across the globe, meeting president of a country, and getting this huge network around you. I would have thought, are you crazy? I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an introvert, right? I've come from a social anxiety background. I'll be like, no way. And yet, it's a reality. Was it scary when I jumped on the stage for the first time? You bet. I was sweating backstage. I've never done so many jumps to get into stage before. But when I got onto the stage for the first time, second time, third time, fourth time, fifth time, sixth time, seventh time, I loved it. I found the thing I was naturally good at. It took many, many practices to get rid of my conditioning of being shy because of my bullying background when I was bullied when I was younger. But then I began to find my voice and then began to accumulate millions of hits online. Sometimes the thing you're born to do inside there is on the other side of that fear. It's not about what you can do right now. It's not about whether or not you can achieve it as who you are right now. It's always asking yourself, who must I become in order for me to achieve that goal? Because every single goal requires a different level of thinking, a different level of you showing up. So if ask yourself, create a list of everything you're fearful of. Begin to tick it off one by one. And sometimes the thing that you're resisting the most, 
that's the thing that may be holding that gift that you desire. That's the second point, fear. Go towards where the fear is. Okay, the third point, this has been a life changer for me, which is uh, Steve Jobs' quote. I started my journey. As you may know, I was very, very inspired by Steve Jobs' commencement address. That's when I woke up in my life. Steve Jobs in his commencement address said, you cannot connect the dots looking forwards. You can only connect the dots looking backwards. Sometimes in life I found it's hard to gain that absolute clarity in regards to what you're really here to do, what you're born to do. And the more you think about it, sometimes that's when you actually end up with less clarity. What I found from my journey is you've got to take that first step. You've got to trust. Whatever happens will happen. You look at river going towards the destination Look at it from a sky point of view, like a bird eye point of view. You see it meanders, goes left and right. It's never in a straight line. Most people in life, what ends up happening is the moment the river of their life, the river of truth begins to go the way that they don't want to, they begin to resist. They begin to swim the other way. And that's when, you know, we begin to have signs in our life, that feeling of not being aligned, that feeling of uneasiness. But what if that corner that you're experiencing in your life what if that's the corner that's going to meander you around, whip you around even faster so you get to your destination quicker? What if you fully trusted that journey? What if you trusted your intuition, your heart? The thing that you find yourself being pulled towards but you can't logically justify. What if you were to take action? Well, I found during my journey, I've always found that there's always been that one thing that I'm interested in. And I take action on that. I do whatever it takes. And that ends up basically closing that chapter of my life. And that leads to a new chapter. And I close that one in my life. That begins a new chapter. And what I've realized is life's a series of chapters. But unless we have the courage to begin that chapter first, we cannot finish this book called life in the way we want to. At the end of the day, what do you want your story to be about? Somebody who played it safe? Somebody who didn't take action? Or somebody who had the courage to follow their heart and take action and make something of it. Somebody who actually tried to do something. Yes, they may have failed, but at least they tried. At least they got back up. At least they did, did whatever it takes. That's what it's all about at the end of the day. You know deep inside, I believe, what your heart is calling out to do. If you don't, go check out more videos here on Success Insider and get clear in regards to what is it? What's my heart saying? Go towards that. Make a whole list. Tick it off one by one. Give it everything you've got. Don't wait. Clarity doesn't come from thinking about it. It comes from doing it. Take action every single day. Commit to mastery, my friend. And that's how you gain clarity on the thing you're born to do. I hope you found today's video helpful, Insider. If you have, be sure to like this video and comment below in regards to any questions, feedback you may have. And like I said, if you want to be featured on our show, all you have to do inside is follow the link above or go directly to the link here and you'll have a chance to be featured on our show and receive personal advice from me. If you found today's video helpful, Insider, be sure to also do me a favor right now by sharing this video with people and friends and loved ones that you know will benefit from hearing this message. And as always, my friend, follow your heart and take action and go live the life you're truly born to live. I'll see you on the next video soon. Take care.